Welcome back to this 25 days of Flutter tutorial series. And in this fourth video, we are going to be covering columns and rows. All right guys, so on my screen right now, I have a simple Flutter app. And what I did is I went ahead and I edited main.dart a little bit. So as you can see, our home is set to a scaffold widget. Inside of that, we have an app bar, and then we have our body. And the body is just a container with a background color of blue, and that is this right here. So this video is all about rows and columns. So right here, I have the child of a row. And that is all of this. And then in this commented out section, we have the same thing, but a column. So we're going to take a look at both of these individually, and we're going to look at how you can use them to build layouts. So first off, we're going to take a look at the row widget. So inside of this row, we have three elements, and they are all the same. So we have a container, we have a text widget, and that is all. So we have three of those. The text are one, two, and three. So you'll notice that each of these text widgets has a background color of yellow, and the size is 20 for the first and the third text, and 50 for the second one. And you'll soon see why I did that. But over here, we can see this. So the main thing we're going to do here is look at how the main axis alignment, the cross axis alignment, and the main axis size affects the row. So we're going to start with main axis alignment. As you can see, right now it is set to start. Now we have a couple of different values. We have start, we have end. So if I do this, you'll notice that the block of text widgets for the row shifts to the right of the screen. And that is because when we are using a row, the main axis alignment is this horizontal stretch right here. So when we had it at start, it was at the left or the start of the row. When we put it to end, it goes to the right. We also have center. And this will center it in the middle. And we have space around which if I hover over this, you can see it places the free space evenly between the children, as well as half of the space before and after the first and last child. Space between is similar, but the difference here is that you'll see one, two, and three, is that one and three are towards the end, and then the last one is space evenly. So this is similar as space around. The difference is that it places the free space evenly between the children as well as before and after the first and last child. So that's the main axis alignment. Now we also have this cross axis alignment. And right now it is at start. And the cross axis alignment for a row is this vertical area. So if I change this to end, you'll notice the one and the three go down to the bottom. Now we also have center. And that will center them in the middle, just like that. And here is where I'm, and this is the reason I made this middle text larger than the other ones. Because if this were the same, 20, this cross axis alignment would not do anything. And just to show you that, if I change this to start, it doesn't have any effect because each of the text widgets are already taking up the entire cross axis alignment. So let's go ahead and put that back to 50. And that is the cross axis alignment. So the last thing we have is this main axis size. For this, I'm going to change this back to start. 
Remember that may, makes them move to the left. And there are only two options for main axis size, max and min. So max, as you can see, makes the row take up the entire width. Now if I change this to min, as you can see, it now takes up only the amount of width that it needs to take up. And those are all of the combinations you can do with a row. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment this out and we are going to do the same thing but for a column. So the column is the same except main axis alignment for a column is vertical and cross axis is horizontal. So right now we'll start with main axis size. It is at min so it's taking up only as much as it needs to. If I change this to max it will take up the entire column. Let's go back to main axis alignment. Let's change this to end. They move to the end. We can do center. Now they're in the center. We can do space around. We can do space between. And we can do space evenly. Just like that. And then if we take a look at cross axis alignment, remember we have start, we have end, and we have center. Just like that. So that is it for rows and columns. Now this code is available on my GitHub. The link is in the description for that. And in the next video of 25 days of Flutter, we will be taking a look at stateless versus stateful widgets.